What's up guys, Garrett Jenner here, and today I'm gonna teach you gazelle spins. So what a gazelle spin is, is you do a 360 and your board does a 540. So it's similar to a bigger spin, except instead of you doing a 180, you end up doing a 360, which I think is a lot easier because you can end up pivoting the trick. So I'll show you what it looks like. And that's a gazelle spin. So all a gazelle spin is, is a big spin plus an extra 180. Like not just you, but you and the board do an extra 180. So it's pretty much like mandatory that you learn big spins first. And if you don't know how to big spin, learn them, pivot first because it's 10 times easier. Just do a pop shove it, land on the nose, and then pivot it. And once you have big spins that way, try to get them without the pivot, where you just scoop it and land. And once you get those, gazelle spins you're like right around the corner you'll land them sooner than you think once you learn big spins without the pivot try landing with your foot on the tail so you're landing in a manual so when you do the big spin spin it and try to focus landing like that like it'll feel really weird at first and chance starts to like land and set it down really quick but you need to get the feel of landing in manual because all a gazelle spin is is landing a big spin and pivoting it which is a lot easier than it sounds actually so the foot placement for a gazelle spin is a little bit different than a big spin because with a big spin i put my foot a little more in the pocket so it kind of angles at an angle <laughs> and lands and with the gazelle spin i put my foot a lot more flat like most tricks you put your foot in the pocket but a gazelle spin is the exact opposite you have it flat on the tail like half your foot hanging off and just otherwise it'll cause the board to flip and you'll probably land primo and that's not fun so don't land primo life lesson Pop it, flat-footed, big spin, land like that, pivot it and roll away and all your friends will be like, wow, you did it! So one of the main common problems that you will most likely encounter when doing a gazelle spin is you're gonna do the big spin and either not land a manual to sort of land like that and like half rotate it, which obviously you just need to scoop a little bit harder and angle your body more. And the really common mistake is you land in manual about to pivot and then you just like shoot out and fall which is never fun so the main way to fix these problems are all in your body weight you want to be completely like centered if you're angled to the back or angled to the front you're going to end up like getting all off balance in the air and like ah! and falling and no one likes falling really focus on keeping your body as straight up as possible with, with most other spinny tricks you kind of put your body like where you're spinning but it's not that way at all with this trick you literally pop it move your arms a little bit get the board to do a big spin Land ah, and pivot. Go out there and learn some gazelle spins. Woo! So gazelle spins are sort of like, I wouldn't call them an advanced trick, but they're kind of not really intermediate. It's kind of like in between. I learned them when I was trying gazelle flips, which is the same trick with the kick flip. So obviously you want to have like big spins you want to have tray flips you want to have most of your basic flat ground tricks so once you have your basics down you can add in some variety like the extra spin you can make bigger flips into gazelle flips and you can make bigger spins into gazelle spins and you can pretty much anything looks cooler with an extra 180 so once you get your basics down start messing around with more variety so if you guys like this video i have a lot of more trick tips as well as just random skateboarding videos on my channel so do me a huge favor and click on my gorgeous face to subscribe to my channel as well as follow me on Instagram at Garrett Jenner, G-A-R-R-E-T-T-G-I-N-N-E-R. -T -T -E also, do yourself a huge favor and check out Skateboarding Made Simple, which will teach you all the basic tricks that lead up to this trick, pretty much Ollie through tray flip, and you'll thank yourself, because who doesn't want to learn new skateboarding tricks? And also subscribe to the Braille channel. They are fantastic guys. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.